Commotio cordis is a rare but life-threatening condition that results from a blunt, non-penetrating impact to the chest. This type of trauma disrupts the heart's rhythm and can lead to ventricular fibrillation and sudden cardiac arrest. The term commotio cordis originates from Latin, meaning agitation or disruption of the heart. Healthcare providers should be aware of this condition due to its potential for rapid onset and high mortality if not promptly addressed. Incidence and predisposing factors. The incidence of commotio cordis is extremely low, with fewer than 10 new cases reported annually. In the United States, fewer than 20 cases are documented each year. The condition predominantly affects young male athletes, particularly those between the ages of 11 and 20 years. Nearly 96% of victims are male, and the mean age of affected individuals is approximately 15 years. The higher prevalence in younger populations may be attributed to their participation in sports such as baseball, lacrosse, and hockey, where blunt chest impacts are more likely to occur. Etiology and Mechanism Commotio cordis occurs when there is a direct blow to the precordial region, which is the area overlying the heart. For this condition to develop, the impact must occur during a narrow window of the heart's electrical cycle, specifically during the upslope of the T wave. This timing corresponds to a period of about 40 milliseconds before the peak of the T wave. Objects such as baseballs, softballs, lacrosse balls, and hockey pucks are commonly implicated due to their hardness and velocity. Studies indicate that impacts at 40 miles per hour are most likely to cause ventricular fibrillation, whereas no ventricular fibrillation was observed at velocities of 20 miles per hour. An impact energy of at least 50 joules applied to the precordium of an adult may result in cardiac arrest. It is important to note that commotio cordis is not caused by structural damage to the heart muscle or surrounding organs and is unrelated to pre-existing heart disease. Clinical Manifestation The symptoms of commotio cordis include sudden collapse, although the individual may remain active for several seconds before losing consciousness. Other signs include lack of responsiveness, absence of breathing, pulse or heartbeat, ventricular fibrillation, and unconsciousness. These symptoms typically manifest immediately after the traumatic impact, necessitating rapid recognition and intervention. Diagnosis. Diagnosing commotio cordis often involves ruling out other causes of cardiac arrest. If an individual collapses after sustaining a blow to the left side of the chest with a hard, fast-moving object, commotio cordis should be suspected. Diagnostic tests may include an electrocardiogram, blood tests, echocardiogram, heart magnetic resonance imaging or computed tomography scan, and heart catheterization. These evaluations help exclude other potential causes of cardiac arrest and confirm the diagnosis. Treatment. Immediate recognition and initiation of an emergency medical response are essential for treating commotio cordis. The first step is to call 911. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation should be started without delay, and an automated external defibrillator should be used as soon as possible. Survival rates exceed 50% when cardiopulmonary resuscitation and automated external defibrillator use are initiated promptly. The highest chance of survival occurs when defibrillation is performed within 3 to 5 minutes of the impact. Data show a survival rate of 40% if resuscitation begins within 3 minutes compared to only 5% if delayed beyond 3 minutes. Survival drops to 3% when resuscitation is delayed further. For adult survivors who cannot follow commands, therapeutic hypothermia may be employed. This treatment involves cooling the body temperature to between 89.6 and 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit for a duration of 12 to 24 hours to reduce brain oxygen consumption and prevent swelling. Prevention. Preventing commotio cordis is challenging, but certain measures can reduce the risk. Healthcare providers and athletic personnel should learn to recognize the signs of commotio cordis to initiate the chain of survival. Automated external defibrillators should be readily available at athletic facilities, and training in cardiopulmonary resuscitation should be provided to coaches, athletic staff, teachers, parents, and students. Modifications to athletic activities and teaching safe playing techniques can help minimize hard blows to the chest. The use of safety baseballs or t-balls is recommended, especially for younger children, 
and chest protectors may provide additional safeguarding. Prognosis. There is no evidence to suggest that survivors of commotio cordis are at increased risk for other cardiac events. However, a complete cardiac evaluation is necessary to rule out underlying heart disease. Following a thorough assessment, individuals may be cleared to return to sports participation. Prompt treatment significantly improves survival chances, with a survival rate of approximately 59% reported in the literature. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.